Hope you're having a good day. Let's get a whole brand new work week coming up. I hate the word, I hate the term work week. It's just a new week. Work week sounds like it's not going to be fun. So it's, just, it's a new week ahead. It's going to be fun. Guaranteed. It's going to be a little bit dangerous in the ocean, though. One of the things I want to talk about is the big surf. This is a satellite image. Obviously, you see the system. Here we are right here. There's Central Valley fog. Snow in the Sierras. That's awesome. But these guys, these, look at these three lined up. Just all lined up. Now, what that's doing effectively right now is generating strong surface winds over a huge area. They call it a fetch. And it's creating waves. And the surf, as we go into the next 72 hours, is going to grow steadily. It's already very big at Ocean Beach. Mavericks is starting to show a little bit. Um, we'll take a look at that. And the reason I bring up the surf is a couple of things. Well, they're running the Pipe Masters today in Hawaii. I think they are. They were, they were, I think they got the go, um, which is, means it's big and good. And then they've opened the window for the Eddie Akai uh, big wave Waimea Challenge, which is the largest, you know, it's the, it's the premier big wave event in the world and always has been. And they open that window because they see what's coming, right? And th it's coming from here, from, these, from these, this swell field. And so, I mean, that's kind of cool, right? Dangerous, but cool. But one of the things that I think that, it, that is important to think about here is all the issues we've had with folks in boats, offshore, crab fishing, fishing, beach goers. We've had a lot of unfortunate incidences, more than I can remember in a long time. So let's uh, be aware that the ocean is going to get very aggressive. It already is. There's a lot of tide moving and it's going to be one of those weeks. So we need to be thoughtful that way. The big swells don't really show up here until Friday, Saturday, but it's going to be big. Uh, so there's, the, there's the, the headline. Here is the prettiest mountain in the world. I can't do that. I always say that, but I think it is. <laughs> Okay, and then that's Cinder Cone, and then you can see, maybe you can see or not see, there's some fog out in the valley out there. So Mount Shasta, they got snow way down on the snow line. Um, it's a beautiful day up north, but that's going to change. It's kind of breezy up on top of the hills. Let me move this over here, and you can see this is the last few hours. You can see the fog getting scoured out. That's valley fog, and that's now, obviously, that's California or Bay Area, and this valley fog. See how it... Remember we were talking about Tulare Lake the other day? Well, you can kind of see where Tulare Lake, the outline of it, because that fog likes that low-lying area. So it kind of did look similar to that, especially this bulge down at the back end of the valley. And then, of course, the snow in the Sierra Nevada, which is awesome, good to have. Um, we need rain? We're going to get rain. That's the other thing, too. Besides the big surf, we've got rain coming back our way as we go into probably more into Saturday. We'll look at the models on that. There's a couple little tweaks that go by Wednesday into Friday. But no, kind of non-events, but not non-events, just not nuisance stuff. But Saturday looks significant. So there's Mavericks. And the fact that it's showing up already, because the swell isn't all that big today, but it's already starting to crest. This means it's hitting the bottom, right? The, the swells are, these swells, it's not only the surface, but underwater there's ground swells. There's a lot of water moving as these wavelengths come through. And it's shallow enough that it's hitting the bottom. When the wavelengths get big enough, it can break in deeper water, and it will. It'll break out here at some point when when it's um, when it's good, when it's surfable. And then here's Ocean Beach. Uh, it's bigger than it looks, and this is the kind of thing I worry about. Again, a lot of tide moving at the Golden Gate Bridge. This very dangerous day at the beach, by the way. You don't really see anybody out. I'm sure there are folks surfing probably down towards Noriega. Well, I'm not sure where they are today, um, but a lot of tide moving and big surf. And wet, surfers are generally pretty safe if they have a good wetsuit because you're not going to get hypothermia. So you can always swim out to the deep water. If, it's, if you're just getting hammered on the inside, just go out to the deep water and you can always get rescued. Um, or you get inside here in this white water and you'll get pushed back to the inside. Okay, so let's take a look at the model. Here is, I'll put a circle here. I know it's kind of, I made it small, but I want you to see the date as it goes through. So here's um, 12Z Monday. So that's this morning. This model um, was rendered at 12Z, 5, 5 o'clock this morning. Um, and the new models are being rendered as we speak. It just takes three hours to render the models, some of the models. So as we go, we see the ridge start to flatten out right here. So there's Wednesday. Something dries by to the north. There is Thursday morning, looks a little more aggressive, a little bump on Friday in terms of a ridge, and then bam, Saturday. So you see, and then bam again, 
that is on Tuesday the 17th. And then bam again, that is on the 21st. So you see it's a very progressive pattern. And what's changed is that big ridge of high pressure, which here it is now, is, go is going to be gone. And when that leaves, we're golden. We're going to get back into the range. So this is more of a granular look at the, um, the model. This is the GFS. That was the GFS as well, vorticity, just to show you where the instability is. This is more like the lines together. That's surface winds, uh, isobars. And then the, we're going to see the potential for rain. This model, this run of the model is really aggressive on some of the early rains. I'm not buying it. I think, well, you'll see what I mean. So here we go. Here we are. There is... Wednesday afternoon. There is this. This is Wednesday night, and that that looks a little more aggressive than I would expect. That's possible. But and when I say aggressive, I mean a tenth of an inch, maybe. In the mountains, they'll get a couple inches of snow. So that takes us into Thursday. Then we get another drive-by. This has a little more game. This is Friday night into Saturday morning, and that's the main event for the most part. So if I'm doing outdoor work, construction, carpentry, concrete. I'm getting, I wouldn't worry too much about the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'd worry about Saturday. And so, because that's, and then you'll see them just keep going by. Keep going by. So, and then I think get a bigger one here. This is around the December 21st. So this week, again, is going to be marked by, um, is going to be marked by some scattered showers, possibly on, somewhere in that Thursday window. Maybe a bit cooler, obviously low 60s. And then Saturday, is, is our main event. And there'll be snow in the mountains. There'll be a winter storm warning up there. The mountains will probably end up by the time those two week systems go through and we get to Saturday and Saturday night, and maybe even Sunday morning, they could have a foot and a half of snow. So which is much needed. So the pattern has shifted. The pattern has broke. And I think we're going to get some rain. Five day forecast is up. I just kind of give you a, a quick idea. It's, it's not to be taken too precisely hour by hour but it just gives you an idea of what we're looking at you can see those systems coming in thursday friday and again saturday all right let's think about the surf we'll keep an eye on it for you i'll see you back here tomorrow